welcome everybody welcome welcome we're a little a little behind but uh, i'm glad to see all of you i welcome all of you wherever you are watching from welcome uh wherever you are um, joining us from let's let's let us uh hear from you let us know where you are um joining us from it's Roberta here from Robertaba Ministries joining you this very early morning, uh, depending on where you are watching from. But I welcome all of you. Um, let us know. Give us a thumbs up. Let us know if you can see us. I'm glad to see all of you again. And uh, we've come to honor our Lord Jesus Christ for all his sacrifices that he made for all of us and so we have come this morning to acknowledge that okay so uh, good to see all of you again and uh, let me know if you can see me or joining us wherever you are joining us from just write something let me know that you are there and uh, we can carry on here give like a few minutes few minutes so we can start okay write something in the comment uh, section so that we know I know that you are there joining us and you know joining us today all right today we have come to um, acknowledge our Lord and to thank him for all his sacrifices that he laid his life down just for us okay so we come to uh, honor the Lord because he's been so good to us all right and so I would like to um, honor the father honor the son the father and the spirit with a, a song and so um i'll be singing i know i know i'll be singing again <laughs> i'll be singing to honor our lord because you deserve it okay you don't have to have an angelic voice before you can do that in fact he likes our voice is the way he has given us and so let us pray and invite the holy spirit to come and lead lead us and uh, guide us in everything that he has for us today okay and to touch our hearts to receive what he has to say to us today thank you thank you father father i honor you this morning it is an honor and privilege to be able to come and stand in your presence and to be with you this very day I thank you and I honor you. I recognize the Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. I ask that you come and speak to our hearts. Let us hear what you have to say to us. That we have come to say thank you, Lord Jesus, for all that you did on the cross for us, laying down your life for us so that we might have life and have it abundantly. We honor you this morning, Lord Jesus. Take the glory that belongs to you. Everything that we do here this morning is to the glory of your name. And so we celebrate you and we thank you. We don't take it for granted. We appreciate every pain that you took upon yourself. We cannot even be imagine or begin to imagine the pain that you went through just to save us we thank you and we honor you and we lift your name on high and we said what well, is the lamb that sits upon the throne we thank you lord jesus take the glory that belongs to you angel of the lord i ask that to go before this screen and saturate this stream and touch the people of god touch their hearts to receive what the holy spirit has for all of us and bless them each and every one of them 
those who are joining us now and those who will be watching later bless every single person that will come to this page if there's any need let it be done unto them and remove and cast out any hindrances we decree and declare that only the spirit of god will be operating in here we put a stop to any hindrances in the name of jesus in the name of jesus father we thank you in jesus name i pray amen thank you thank you thank you thank you okay let's celebrate our lord with a song okay all right i have uh three songs that i want to sing one is um you deserve the glory and the second one is um hallelujah by michael w smith and boo elohim so the jewish one will be just singing and along the trying to pronounce the words okay so because it's in uh hebrew so we will not get it perfect but we're gonna follow the song so if you know it uh, you can uh, actually um, it's a Jewish uh, interpretation of uh, English Holy Spirit okay well, you are welcome so we're gonna I like it so I'm gonna start here all right let's um, I'll join in if you know the song you can sing along with me thank you Boom, hello, he. Oh, my lad, now she. Had a kitanu keladi. Yakukanu chalazi. Anachu mazi muchalavo. Come, Holy Spirit, come, come and fill us now, for you are welcome in this place, show your mercy and your grace, come and fill us, Holy Spirit, come. Baru kaba, Baru kaba, Buwa loi, Baru kaba, Baru kaba, Wa. Come, Spirit of God. Boo, Elohim. Nashi. Hakubatu narazin anachu mazi muchalavo Baru kaba Baru haba Buwa lohi Baru haba Baru haba Welcome Spirit of God Come Holy Spirit come Come and fill us now 
for you are welcome in this place. Show your mercy and your grace. Come and fill us, Holy Spirit, come. Baru, Haba, Baru, Haba, Bo, Wai, Welcome, Spirit of God. Baruch Haba Buwake Lohi Omi Wako Baruch Haba Baruch Haba Welcome Spirit of God Welcome, Spirit of God. Thank you, Lord. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. 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 God Almighty reigns. Hallelujah. Holy. Holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? What is the land? Where is the land? You are holy, my Lord. Holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Where is the land? Where is the land? Ah, ah, amen. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, for the Lord God Almighty reign. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, for the Lord God Almighty reign. Hallelujah, my Lord, you are oh, holy, yes, Lord, holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? Where is the land? Where is the land? You are holy. Holy are you Lord God Almighty Where is the land? Where is the land? You are holy my Lord Holy are you Lord God 
you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you there is no one else like you you are great you do miracles so great there is no one else like you my lord there is no one else else like you Above all kingdoms, above all thrones, above all wonders the world has ever known, above all worth and treasures of the earth, there's no way to measure what you were. Crucified, lay behind the stone. You live to die. <laughs> like a rose, trampled on. <laughs> Thought of me, above all. Powers above all kings, above all nature and all created things, above all wisdom and all the ways of man. You are here before the world began, above all kingdoms. Above all truths, above all wonders, the world has ever. Above all wealth and treasures of the earth. So what you were crucified. Lay behind the soul, you live to die, rejected and alone like a rose, 
trampled on the ground uh, into the fall you thought of me above all crucified lay behind the stone you live to die rejected and alone like a rose trampled on the ground uh, you to the fall you told of me I will like a rose trampled on the ground you to the fall you told of me I will Thank you, Lord. Oh, no, glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Hallelujah, Lord. Oh, no, and glory. Oh, no, and glory, Lord. Oh, no, and glory, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. All right, before we start, um, yeah, we, I want to read um, Isaiah, Isaiah 53. Okay, we're going to read Isaiah 53. Oh, I've got this one here. Isaiah 53 reads, Who has believed our message? And to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed? He grew up before him like a tender shot, and like a root out of dry ground. He had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him, nothing in his appearance that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering a familiar with pain, like one from whom people hide their faces. He was despised and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took upon our pain and bore our suffering, yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was, he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him, and by his wounds we are healed. We all, like sheep, have gone astray. Each of us has turned to our own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and as a sheep before its shearers is, si is silent. So he did not open his mouth. By oppression and judgment he was taken away. Yet who of his generation protested for he was cut off from the land from the land of the living for the transgression of my people he was punished he was assigned a grave with a wicked with a wicked 
and with a rich in his teeth. Sorry. He was assigned. I read now again. He was assigned a grave with the wicked and with the rich in his death. Though he had done no violence, nor was any deceit in his mouth, yet it was the Lord's will to crush him and cause him to suffer. And though the Lord makes his life an offering for sin, he will see his offspring and prolong his days and prolong his days and the will of the lord will prosper in his in his hand after he has suffered he will see the light of the life he after he has suffered that's 11 after he has suffered he will see the light of life and be satisfied by his knowledge by by his knowledge my righteous my righteous servant will justify many and he will bear their iniquities therefore i will give him a portion among the great and he will divide the spoils with the strong because he poured out his life unto death and was numbered with the transgressors for he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the intercessors and that is Isaiah um, 53 okay we're gonna go to uh, Ma Matthew to uh, read the word um, we're gonna go to Matthew 26 and I'm gonna read from 20 to 29 20 to 29 okay that's funny when evening came Jesus was reclining at the table with the twelve and while they were eating he said truly i tell you one of you will betray me they were very sad and began to say to him one after the other surely you don't mean me lord jesus replied the one who has dipped his hand into the bowl with me will betray me he said the son of man will go just as it is written about him but woe to that man who betrays the son of man it will be better for him if he had not been born then judas the one who would betray him said surely you don't mean me rabbi jesus answered you have said so while they were eating jesus took bread and when he had given thanks he broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take and eat this is my body then he took a cup and when he had given thanks he gave it to them saying drink it drink from it all of you this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sins I tell you, I will not drink from this fruit of the vine from now until that day when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. I will repeat the last, um, which is very important. I will repeat the um, the last three verses. That is from twenty uh, uh, Matthew twenty six twenty seven down. Okay. So he said, and this is 27, then, then he took a cup, and when he had drink, sorry, I'm going to start again. Then he took a cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, drink from it, all of you. 
This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many for the forgiveness of sin. Of sins. I tell you, verse 29, I will not drink from this fruit of the wine of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it new with you in my father's kingdom. What is being said here? I'm actually gonna go to I'm gonna comment on uh, verse um, 29. He said when I drink it new what is he talking about with you in my father's kingdom he's talking about his uh, second coming okay so he was saying that after partaking the meal that the last supper meal with his disciples he already knew he was gonna uh, be crucified he was gonna be killed and and that will, that meal will be the last meal he will have with them until he comes back again and that's what he was trying to say here that was his last meal that he's going to have with them and he actually was prophesying here telling them that look this cup that you have contains the blood symbolizing the blood okay so the blood of jesus is you know uh so now what is happening is uh when we when we take some people say it's communion but you know was it you know that's how um the woman catholics um have turned it into but the last supper the drink that they had were presenting his blood that was shed for us to save us and the bread that he broke representing the his body that will that will be beaten up the body his body okay so if you go back and see he said then he took the a cup and when he had given thanks so he lifted it before his father he lifted it up towards the uh, the father and he blessed it and gave thanks to it and he gave it to them and he said they should drink it okay all of them have to drink part of the uh, what the drink I, which was uh, made um, by grapes and it's not fermented and so don't let anybody lie to you that it was fermented the grape was not fermented it wasn't alcohol like some people preach it it was grape grape juice that they use when the grape becomes fermented then it's a different story but what they use here it was not fermented um i'll have to uh have to teach on that with the with the the whole supper all the milk and the vegetables and everything that they use the grapes that they use here was not fermented i know i'm stressing on it because some people are using an excuse to drink alcohol and also other things uh, you can't you, you can't use a, 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 a apple or pineapple it has to be grape juice so grape juice is what they use okay and he said which is poured out for many for the tri for, for the forgiveness of sins so you, you see that so his blood that he shed it was to um it was for our our sins okay his blood is for our sins to save us it's a it's a blood covenant before uh, he was uh, Christ was born, all the sacrifices that um, were made, like the lamb and everything else, actually was for Christ Himself. It's a big, you know, it's a whole lot of uh, teaching that is is in there. People don't understand. People are saying that no, we don't believe this, we don't believe that, and they are still, you know, presenting and uh, sacrificing lambs and things like that. He said he came to fulfill the old the everything that was written in the in the torah which is the old testament okay and i i i am telling all of us you cannot 
even listen to any preaching that talks about the fact that the Old Testament is done away with. As Christians, if we are able, we are going to be able to comprehend and understand in depth what the Word of God is all about. We have to get to know the Jew because we are not Jewish. We are we are we are brought into the Jewish family by the sacrificial uh, the sacrifice that the Lord Jesus um, made for us. So we have got to know the people and their ways and what that time what they were doing. So all the sacrifices that they were they were performing, all was for the Lord Jesus Christ. If it was not so, that is why I intentionally read um, Isaiah fifty three, because they knew, as the prophet knew, all about by revelation about the the Messiah. That is why he was able to talk about his life and everything that he was going to go through just to save us. And so, the only difference in, in this supper or the communion or the sacrifices is the fact that we don't sacrifice animals anymore. Because Jesus was the end. He put an end to the animal sacrifice. He, God used him as the sacrifice for us because even though they were using animals, it was not good enough to save them. They were dying. So he has to come and be the sacrificial lamb that is acceptable to the Father. Nothing else would have done it. It wasn't going to do it. Nobody was good enough. Only a God can do that. Only God can do that. And so he didn't want us he didn't want us dying. He didn't want his people dying. Because he's loving. But his laws were his laws. And to be able to stop that because of his loving kindness. That is why he sent his son to pay that price. Because he was the only one that good enough to take that place. No human being, no, nobody else could have done it. And the prophet Isaiah saw that. And so if you go back on uh, Isaiah 53 and read what I just shared with you, you can see that everything that he has to go through, Isaiah talk about it. For instance, uh, Isaiah 53 uh, 3 said, he was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Why? Do you understand? Because he suffered for us. Everything he went through is just for us. And so he's very familiar. He, he tasted what pain is like. Even though he was God, he has to come and go through what a human being we are going through just to feel the pain so that we can actually identify with him and so god has to send him his son to come just to die for us go through the pain he was mocked i think i'm gonna go to um let me go to uh 27 28 let me see 27 28 so i can read it before i tell you about it so 27 And 28. Okay. So, for instance, when you, uh, the soldiers were um, gathered around him, what happened? I'll read it to you. That's Isaiah, sorry, it's Matthew 27 28. So they stripped him and put a scarlet robe on him. And then twisted together a crown of thorns and set it on his head. Can you imagine? Thorns are really, it's not fun, even if your finger should touch something like that. And um, they put it on him. And then we go to, I will re go shift everything and go down to 31. He said, after they have mocked him, 
they took off the robe and cut sorry after they had mocked him they took off the robe and put his own cloth on him then they led him away to crucify him okay and so all of this he has to go through not just that even the uh, the two men that were on the cross also beside him let me read it let me read this uh, i think i'll go down to uh, 28 let me go back there again 28 28 let's see Yeah, we still do 28. Okay. So, um, where is it? 20, okay, it's 27, 28. All the way. So I've done the 28. So the two rebels were crucified with him. What were they also doing? One of them was mocking him. Was mocking him as well. And, uh, if you go to 44, let me do see 44. I will read. I, will, I think I will read it. I, I, it's better I read it. So let's read. Um, where is it? And why am I losing my. Okay. 44, 44, 44, 42, 44. In the same way, the rebels who were crucified with him also heaped insult on him so you can imagine everything else that um, he went through it wasn't a pleasant as especially for uh, the father he was God that he could have you know uh, spoken out and not go through all of that but because for our sake he has to go to all of this just to save us and then we continue to 45 it says from noon to until three in the afternoon darkness came over all the land about three in the afternoon and he cried out in a loud voice eli eli lima sabatani meaning my god my god why have you forsaken me so our lord was going through a lot of pain it wasn't easy but even when he cried on to God if it's like you know uh, I'm not I'm not saying it's in the Bible but I think uh, for God not to say anything it feels like you know I, I would think God turned his back because it was uh, <laughs> it was something that he has to um, it was important uh, that he has to go through but it wasn't easy on his body as a human being and so if he wasn't god man um he couldn't have taken the nails i mean somebody not dead and they nail him down so um what am i trying to say here the lord laid his life down for us He did. He went through humiliation. You name everything that you can think of. But because of his love for us, that is why he had to do all of this for us. He laid down his life just for us. He was spat on. So when you're going through stuff that are not pleasant, just remember. He's been there. He's been there. So when he said, I love you, think about, think about this special time that we are, we are in, this occasion. 
and think about everything that the Lord had to put up just to save us don't take it for granted don't take it for granted appreciate him thank him let him know that you appreciate everything that he has to go through just for us just love on him this special day love on him because without his love <laughs> you and I might not be here this is a costly a very costly um, event that ha took place it cost him his life are you willing to lay your life down for the Lord are you willing to serve him lay your life down and to serve him because he did the same for you there's no way you can go on the cross to be hung on the cross and to be uh, nailed down but are you willing to lay down your life and to serve him in honor of what he did for us so we can have life Some of us are uh, gradually, gradually we are not, sometimes we are not even aware, walking away, our faith are being tested because of life. You cannot pay attention to what is going on out there or in your life. Just remember what the Lord had to do for us. So if he is able to go through all of this for us, what do you think he's not able to do for you? You just have to trust him, honor everything that he has done. The pain, the suffering, the mocking. I mean, can you imagine a whole God and being spat at? Even you as a human being, you know how you feel. We have to be really appreciative and thankful. And remember this day, it's not about food, about remembering all the sacrifices that the Lord did for us. We cannot, I mean, I personally cannot even imagine, I can't begin to imagine the pain that he went through. I can't I can't so if you go if you look at the the uh, the last supper you know that um, they broke bread right and then what did he do he said they all should drink from the same what cup and the uh, the, the 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 drink represent his blood that was shed and the body is uh, the bread was his body okay and so what I see was happening there was uh, bringing them in, in in one union so that they can be together and work together until they see him again but if we can't get anything from this season because people don't even know what this is all about they just um, take it as one of those celebrations and just, just, just cook and eat and drink it's another occasion for them to be merry but you have to sit down and actually assess everything said why was it so important that the Lord has to come and die for us what is the reason for this special season and then take time and read what the occasion was all about why uh, 
the father have to send his son to come and die for us and to save us okay and so um, it's important that we don't just look at it as just one of those one of those just uh, other days that you know we just eat and that's it it's, it's, it's not like that there's a whole meaning to this if you take time and read you you get to know and I think if you get to know uh, you know by reading the the information that is in the Bible it might change the way you look at things and the way you look at the the whole occasion why it was so important that the Lord has to come and die for our, our sins okay so I'm looking at I think um, 27 again I'm still in 20 March 27 and uh, I'm gonna read 50 and the word said and when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice he gave up his spirit let's see yeah so after he cried out for the first time he said Ali Ali Lima Sabat Tani meaning my God my God why have you forsaken me and it goes down to say and when some of those standing there heard this they said he is calling Elijah immediately one of them ran and got a sponge he filled it with wine vinegar but it on a one vinegar put it on a staff and offered it to Jesus to drink so he was thirsty the rest said now leave him alone let's see if Elijah comes to save him and when Jesus had cried out again in a loud voice he, he gave up his spirit and see even at the, at the last minute of his death they were still mocking him that if he's God he should save himself or uh, they said he's calling Elijah maybe Elijah will come and save him and so um, he has to go through a lot our Lord deserves every praise every honor every worship every part of our lives he deserves it it belongs to him if we have to teach it and go into it it means for only a god can die for you so somebody who died for you owns you because you don't own yourself it's like a slave and a shepherd or slave and a master situation okay if we are using a slave not like you know slave slave but if we have to look at what was happening here if somebody owes your life you are indebted to the person and so we don't own ourselves we don't have any uh, we belong to Christ whether we want to accept it or not is the fact it's the truth we belong to Christ we belong to Christ as Christians. He belonged to him. He cried and then eventually gave his spirit up. And he went out of, you know, his spirit left his body. He gave his spirit up. gave his spirit up he gave his spirit up he gave his spirit up what are you willing to give up for the Lord 
which part of your life that you treasure so much that because of that you can't even accept him for who he is are you willing are you willing to, to surrender your life to Christ are you willing you have to be willing because your life is in his hands Your life is in his hands. He said what? He died for us, our sins. And what did I say? It's because the Israelites could not follow the law. Because they couldn't follow the law. And so unless you give your life and surrender to Christ, you are walking on a time bomb. You are working on a time bomb. They can't help you unless you surrender and give your life to Him. There's no hope for you. Your hope is in Jesus Christ. Your life is in His hands. You have to give your life to him. Unless you give your life, he can't he can help you. You carry your sins and you perish. But he doesn't want you to perish. He wants to save you. Because he has paid the price. This is a heavy, I mean, <laughs> a heavy price that he paid. Because he loves you. So, if you are listening to me, and you don't know Christ, give your life to Christ. Ask him to come into your life. Ask him to come into your life. Ask him to come into your life. Let him be your Lord and Savior. Let him wash you. Let him cleanse you. Purify you. And give you life. That there's no death. That death, he has already died for it. So you don't have to die. But you have life. And have it in eternal. So give your life to Christ. Give your life to Christ. Because he's coming back. He's going to find you worthy. Or he's going to find you in your sin. Give your life to Christ. He is coming back. The Lord is coming back. The Lord is coming back. Give your life to Him. I know most of us have, will be cooking and uh, doing all the celebration. Whilst we are mothers that are listening to me, or fathers, sometimes it's been possible that the heads of the you know of the family pray with your children. Don't just cook and eat for the sake of it. Tell the children, teach them why this occasion is so important and why this occasion, the history behind it. Introduce them. Introduce introduce Christ to the children to the family. Let them know it is not just about, you know, occasion just we cook and eat. There's a reason for the season. And what is this? What is the reason? The reason is the death of Christ. 
why he has to die for us. Some people talk about, you know, they they confuse, they are confused in the sense that they don't understand the meaning of the the communion and the supper and the or the Sabbath and everything else. Take time and teach the children. Don't just let them eat. A lot of people don't even know the story and the importance of it. So you have to teach them. Like he did over here, he said, this is my what? My blood. He has already told them. He gave them. So the, 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 the wine, which is the, not the wine that is fermented, the grape juice that they use, is a symbolic, symbolizing his blood, the blood that he shed for us. So they took part. They took part from his hand. And he said what? After that supper that he t he t uh, he's taking the, 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 the drink with them, he's not going to be taking it anymore because he knew he was going until he come back and meet us. And so when we do, we make all this food and we do come together, when we make prepare all this food and drinks and everything else, we should eat it in remembrance of his death you can't just eat for the sake of it if we don't teach the children they're gonna be losing this important and precious gift that we were given we come together we cook and we eat and it's like we are breaking bread just like he did with us and we have to be mindful that he is in our midst when we do we do in this occasion we are sitting down eating and drinking we're doing all that we are doing he is very present during this time believe me <laughs> he's very present he's very present he's very present he's very present Don't let her sell his life cheap. Let's value the precious gift that we're given. Don't let us live our lives just anyhow and die miserable death when our Lord has died and paid the price for us. Let's treasure this precious gift that we're given by God the Father. And appreciate and honor the life of Christ during this time. That, you know, um, the date again is a whole lot of teaching that we have to take it, you know, level by level. Because I'm seeing a whole lot of people go to church on Sundays, they say, oh, does it really matter? Of course, it matters when the Bible says, when the, the day of rest is. But people don't really care. This is all done to um, alter what is in the Bible. But we're not going to go to, uh, we're not going to go there today. Today we come to appreciate the life of Christ. And he said what? Call upon me. Call upon my name. And you'll be safe. So you are watching me. You don't know Christ. Who Christ is. His life. Once you have listened to me today. He's the son of God. Who came down to die. For our sins. Because we could not follow. The law. Of the land. Which is the Torah. God's word. And the people were dying. Because they could not follow the law so he came he is the end of the law he came to fulfill the law because the sacrifices that were performing was for Christ himself and Christ is the law that was given he is the law that was given so the law 
giver himself came in the flesh to put an end to the suffering, the, uh, the, the, the death that we were, were, were facing, to put an end to it. So we have to appreciate and honor him for putting himself through the pain just to give us a break, just to save us. So when we're talking about the Old Testament doesn't exist anymore, then we talk all this, you know, baseless things that we go through. If we don't know the life of the Jewish people, which Christ Christ is a Jew, was, was, is, is and was a Jew. How are we going to understand it? This is why we have problems. When we feel like it, we take part of the Old Testament and then we use. When we don't feel like it, we can't do it like that. To be able to understand and be successful, we have to get to know the history and the people themselves if we don't know their ways no wonder we don't get it and to so many people so many things that you know also the church change the resting day for the father when he after the creation was saturday that's why you see sabbath 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 is there jesus when he came he didn't avoid it he honored it. He honored it. He honored it, the Sabbath. He didn't say we should not follow it. But the Catholic Church, they are the ones that change things in the Bible. They change it to Sunday. So people go to Sunday, they don't even know the history. That the resting day is a, is a Saturday and we mock the Jewish people. You know, and then those who believe uh, the uh, the Christians who believe, I can't even remember their name, they are, they are what, do, what do you call them? Those who worship on Sunday, Saturday, they are not wrong. We might not, you know, all agree with some of the things that they teach, but they are not wrong to dedicate Saturday as a worship day. What I mean by Saturday, by Saturday as a resting day. They are not wrong because the first day of the week is Sunday. So, seven, making Saturday the seventh day when God rested. And so, um, every sacrifice that was being made again was. For the lawgiver, and the lawgiver was Christ Himself. And I, you find it in Isaiah. If you read Isaiah 53, you find account of uh, Prophet Isaiah talking about Christ before He was born. How did they know that? A revelation. How did they know that? They were very much aware and was expecting the uh, the Messiah. Which is Christ. The Jewish people knew. So if we're going to know. And understand. And to. Uh, get. The scriptures right. We have got to. Do things right. In pleasing the Lord. We have got, we have got to do it right. We have got to do it right. And we should not, you know, uh, criticize those who are doing it right because we don't have understanding of why it was changed. We don't, some of us, we don't even know things were changed. Uh, but the most important thing is to make sure that you know to honor God. You know to honor Christ. You have to know because that is your life and so if you are listening to me today today I don't want to say too much but I want to come and honor our Lord and I'll be doing 
not, it's not just this one that I'll be doing. I'll be doing also his uh, ministry because it's all part of it. Before he, he died, I'll be doing his uh, earthly ministry in leadership this week. And so I will ask that you join me again and uh, to see where we are as a church because everything that he did we have to uh, honor him by paying tribute to him meaning we cannot forget and throw it away we have to honor him his his earthly ministry everything that he did until he was taken away from us but most importantly uh, he came for a reason and that reason is to save us and give us life and life eternal not you know to live a to live in our sins it was important that he comes and lay down his life for us it wasn't his will to see us suffering and dying it wasn't and so uh, the animal sacrificing was done was it was done he fulfilled that part so excuse me um, there's no animal sacrificing uh, anywhere if they are doing it people are doing it they don't understand the word after Christ came and died for us that was the end of animal sacrifice he is he became the sacrificial lamb he became the sacrificial lamb if let me go back to Isaiah 53 again I'll read it again and then if you can follow me that will be good who has believed a message and to whom has the arm of the Lord been revealed he grew up before him like a tender shot and like a root out of dry ground he had no beauty or majesty to attract us to him nothing in his appearance that we should desire him he was despised and rejected by mankind you see that he was what rejected and that is three by mankind so the prophet here describing everything that the lord would be going through before he was born that's what the prophet was describing here a man of suffering he saw this God gave him the revelation of it he did so a man of suffering he came to suffer to pay you know to feel pain our pain the pain that we have to go through he came and went through all of that so that we don't have to go through the pain so why don't you wouldn't you want to give your life to him so that you take the pain that you carry off of you a man of suffering and familiar with pain so when you are in when you you are facing things that are difficult and you are sick your body hurts and he said what he's a man of suffering and familiar with pains it means he has felt pain before he knows how pain feels like and so when we are in pain he feels it so you have to cry unto him give your life to him let him take that pain and the suffering away like one from whom people have hide their faces he was despised and we held him in low esteem we looked down on him as if he, that he wasn't a human being they treated him like an animal but he had power to finish all of them but yet still he didn't it was important for him to go through the whole process he knew he has to go through it 
just like us you, you might know a situation is coming but you don't know how uh, it really is gonna turn out until you are in it then you know that oh hmm, I didn't think it's gonna be that hard and that's what the uh, um, it happens to the to the to our Lord So he was despised and we held him in low esteem. Surely he took upon our pain and bore our suffering. Yet we considered him punished by God, stricken by him and afflicted. But he was pierced for our transgression. He was crushed for our iniquities and punishment. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. So you see that we have peace because of him. Because of his suffering, we have peace. Because of what he has to put up. The pain that he took upon himself so that we might have peace of mind. And I'm not talking about worldly peace. Peace of mind in Christ. Peace that only God can give. Peace that only God can, uh, the, 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 the Lord can give us. The Lord have no peace. The world have no peace to give nobody. I'm talking about the peace of God. And by his wounds, we are healed. Because he was bruised, if anything that we have to go through or any pain, he heal us because he has already taken the wounds off of us and he has put upon himself. So for instance, listen, this is a very script, good scripture. I'm going to say something right here. When you are diagnosed of any disease or anything that is in your body, this is it. This is your scripture. This is very good. One of the scriptures you can use. It's a what? I'm going to read again from the top. It's a but. He was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds we are healed unless you believe it it will not work for you by his wounds we are healed by his wounds we are healed and success we all like sheep have gone astray each of us has turned to our own ways so even though he came to save us put his life down for us we decided not to take the gift that was given to us but to do what we want anyhow we go here everybody going their own way instead of being together in him And the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Did you hear that? We are going here and there, but already he has put everything upon himself. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he did not open his mouth. He was like he, he was led like a lamb to the slaughter. That's what I was trying to get at. A lamb. To the slaughter so if you want to know that there's no animal sacrifices this is what the scripture is saying Christ is the lamb the way they treated him like you know a lamb to be slaughtered and that's what exactly what happened there's no more animal sacrificial performed after Christ 
he came to end that it was not good enough it was still not good enough and as a sheep before it shares is silent so he did not open his mouth by oppression and judgment he was taken away yet who of his generation prote protested nobody said anything to help him nobody saved him nobody could have done it because uh, God has ordained it that way so everything have to come in line with the prophecy and because of that nobody could have helped him because if not then prophecy won't be fulfilled and so um we're gonna um end it here but i still want to plead with you you've heard what i have to say um about it the uh you call it um i said a loss uh sacrifice that he made okay some want to say communion whatever whichever way you want to say it it's all about christ laying down his life for us the Father has to come and die for us to save our life, to save us. And it was a, it was a, a painful. And no one can put put a price on it. The death of Christ, nobody. So it was a gift that God gave us. A precious gift, not just any gift. A precious gift. God sent his own son to come and die to save us. We have to appreciate it. We have to honor him for everything. And be thankful for the fact that he laid down his life for us. And for this occasion to honor him. And not take it for granted. And know who we are and not sell ourselves cheap for people that has been bought and with a precious precious price was paid we can't put a, we can't put um, anything on it i mean i don't know how or who can do what christ did no one can do it because the bible said nobody only he only a god can do that and god himself came the lawmaker himself came. At some point, I will also teach about why he could not take uh, any more of the of the of the supper and the, there there are a whole lot of teaching about this uh, whole sacrificial lamb, the the uh, the animal sacrificing why the meal and what is involved and the symbolism and everything um there are seven seven meals that are involved when they do this supper okay and every item that is on the menu represent it's, it's a symbolic to christ himself and so if i go into it and some of the vegetables that they use and things like that it's all there if you don't know you don't know and uh and why uh the importance to use those uh, vegetables and their meaning why it was chosen those vegetables were chosen and you'll be amazed what is in there and so this is not a like a cheap stuff <laughs> this is really god gift to mankind no joke and so if you are listening to me and you don't know Christ, our Lord is coming again.
He's coming again. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming and he's praying for all of us. He's coming. He's coming. And so I will plead with you to open your heart. You have heard the word of God. I plead with you to open your heart and let the Holy Spirit touch your heart and heal you and draw you close to himself. If you are sick, tell him to touch you because I already prayed for you before I came up. Tell him as you listen to what he has to say through me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me as a person. Hear what the word is coming, the, the word that is coming to you. And grab and hold on to the word and apply it to your life. So if there's any sickness in you, you have any part of your body that is in pain, any need, you lay your hand on where the the problem is and pray and ask the Holy Spirit to touch you he will heal you I've already prayed it before I came on and you will receive your healing if you don't know Christ then go you're gonna pray with me pray this with me and ask God to have mercy upon your life and save you okay and he's faithful to do that he faithful. he's faithful because you are the reason why he came and died just to give you life so you don't have to die any painful death or unnecessary death you know what I mean so he came to die for you so that you have you have life and so follow me I'm gonna pray a prayer and you can say it with me okay father I thank you now say this after me Lord Jesus I call upon you this day I am a sinner I've sinned against you I want to be your child forgive me my sins and have mercy upon my life save me for myself save me Lord Jesus set me free Make me your own. I repent of all of my sins. I accept, I accept you as my Lord and Savior. From today, I am born again. Wash me and cleanse me in your precious blood. And I will be made whole. Lord Jesus, I thank you for touching me delivering me and making me your own and setting me free from all I am born again I am going forward with you and not looking back I am a new creature I have new life life in you I thank you my life will never be the same again in your name I pray Amen I'm glad you are Born, you have become born again. You have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior. If you pray that prayer with me, I would love to hear from you, and um, I would love to get some materials to, into your hands that will help you. And I will uh, encourage you to look for a Bible teaching church, teaching sound doctrine, very important, so that you are not misled. Okay. And go and fellowship with them, introduce yourself, and let them know. And uh, you'll be amazed, they will welcome you. And if you don't have anywhere that you go to church yet, and you think that we can help you, write to us. And uh, we'll do what we can from our end here, okay? And so, Father, I thank you. I pray for every single of your children out there Lord Jesus what a wonderful day 
that you have caused us to come a day that you bled for us symbolizing your sacrifice your sacrifice that you made for us that has been set aside to come and honor you we have come to say thank you lord jesus we thank you for all that you went through just for us to save us we honor you and we glorify you and we say thank you lord thank you lord we appreciate everything that you did for us and because of that we lay down our lives before you said we said do as we please with us do as we please with us as slaves to master we voluntarily lay down our life to serve you because you have been good to us you we belong to we have nobody else we have nowhere else to go we want to remain in you we want to remain in you and for you and with you keep us close to yourself hide us within you do not let us go because we need you lord we thank you and we honor you this day bless our brothers and sisters out there and the same by the same blood that you shed for us lord heal your children touch them and set them free father today i lift everyone that has cancer in his or her body i ask that you lay your hand upon your children and extract any contaminated blood out of their blood system lord i did them in your precious blood and i try to spare your blood your precious blood in place and give them healing restructure everything that is not in alignment in their body set them free and heal them total give total healing lord set them free father set them free set them free heal them all there's nothing you cannot do lord there's nothing you cannot do and then the hearts that are sick lord heal those hearts that are sick give them relief lord heal the hearts and touch the minds of your people so they can see and think and feel right and do right by you i thank you and i honor you you are so precious to us we need you more than ever before we cannot live without you we are the reason why this is the season that you came lord we thank you and we honor you for breathing life into us Till the blood that belongs to you lord we love you and we honor you in jesus mighty name giving glory and honor and adoration to your holy name lord i ask that you keep your people safe out there protect them from the evil ones in jesus name i pray amen 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 thank you all beautiful people out there princesses and the praises of god children of the most high god it's always an honor to come and spend some time with you to share the mind of god with you and i thank you for coming today or uh, those who will be watching later uh, to join in me to honor the sacrifices that the Lord made for all of us. And so I'll be coming on again. I'm not sure whether it's tomorrow or today's what? S uh, uh, Sunday. But I'll try and come again and then we uh, have another um, 
celebration for the Lord. Okay, we're gonna look at his his uh, earthly ministry, his char characteristics, his humility, and everything that he has. You know, he left us with, and to see where we are at this very um, special occasion that he's on our minds. We want to honor him of all the things that he did and gave us and left us on earth before he left to remind ourselves who we are and where we are falling short to straighten up and to get back online okay it's very important because he loves us he wants us to do right and so we're gonna be doing that to see where we are are we following his steps are we honoring his name and everything that he did and so we'll be um, I'll be coming again to so that we can all have fun in him okay all right darlings uh, enjoy your day I don't know where you are but uh, if it's a morning afternoon or evening good morning good afternoon good evening and I love you with the love of God and I pray that you enjoy the rest of your day or if it's evening enjoy your night and so I love you God loves you stay close to God let your feet be shot in his presence and enjoy and rejoice in God okay all right darling be blessed and be safe and have peace in jesus name amen all right goodbye for now and i'll see you again god bless you all bye bye